Hi, beautiful Libras. Good morning, everybody. I got my coffee. Having my coffee with my Libra gang. Guys, I thank you from the bottom of my heart and soul for all your likes, your comments, your subscriptions. You guys are amazing. And you're helping to grow this channel. And I am very grateful for you. And each and every one of you know that new. Some of you guys have followed me from the very beginning, man. And I appreciate you deeply. Other new subscribers know you're very welcome here. We have a great positive energy Libra gang. And I am so happy to do your readings. Libra, I'm going to use astrology, numerology, angel, tarot, plus the regular tarot. I want to see what happens, what comes out using different decks. Let's start out with some uh, astrology here for the beautiful Librans. What is it that, that Libra needs to see, know, or hear for your higher good? What is the most important message you want to convey to the Libra community spirit? What is it that Libra would most benefit from knowing? Who? Oh, some sort of solar eclipse, a revolution. So something has come full circle. Yeah, lunar eclipse, it has come. What come around has gone around. Something is changing. Something, uh, yeah, endings and new beginnings. The moon, something that is your soul, uh, Pisces energy. Um, I believe, I believe with my soul. I believe faith I have faith and it's like I might have been feeling lost or void for a while but I have faith I have friends I have desire and what's this I, I use the situations, I use my soul desire to reinvent myself. I have used this cycle to reinvent myself, to fulfill my soul. I have faith, I have friends, I have loved ones, and I use these experiences. Whoa, owning. This is a lot of coin here, guys. This is karmic coins. I have used my, yeah. Hmm sacrifice I have had to sacrifice something that was keeping me lost and void I have escaped I have probably used my faith my friends my loved ones to help me escape I am healing I have the truth about love and creativity and communicating Communicating, there is love here, guys. I have learned to love myself. Communicating, creative projects, creative ideas, the Venus of love here. I am love. Someone is going to communicate with you want to co-create with you with love and finances is here guys so take that as it resonates it could be 
uh, it's your destiny. <laughs> and through it all, you have found your destiny. You have escaped, Libra. You've escaped something that was keeping you lost, keeping you void, keeping you misguided or misdirected. And you have used your faith and followed your sole purpose to find your destiny. And you are communicating. There is communication of love here. You may be a great communicator, creative projects that help you communicate love tools that have been given to you i'm hearing i have i yes you do i have great communication skills i have great creative ideas and projects i have love i have faith i have friends i have loved ones and i have found my destiny or will be finding it hello that's what astrology has to tell you. What does numerology have to tell you? We're bringing all the elements together here, guys. What does numerology want the beautiful Librans to be aware of? What is it that the universe would most like to tell Libra? That it's all going to have a happy ending. Bling. That's a 93 card for any of you interested. 12. New beginnings. New experiences. A 41 card. Self-discipline. 5. I've changed. I'm going to have my happy ending. Pride. 20. Okay. 19 card which is a 10, a new beginning. Nine, I have a spiritual partnership. Nines are almost a completion. One more step before your new beginning. I have had to surrender probably a spiritual partnership in order to find my destiny. And this spiritual partnership that you surrendered is bringing you in your life purpose, your destiny. That's a, a 91 card, which is another 10. Oh my God, all nines, all tens, guys. You will all have a happy ending. I will have domestic harmony. Again, a 10, a new beginning manifesting i told you eight karma coins follow your dreams that's an 85 8 13 which is a four universal manifestations Oh, Libra, nurturing and nature here, getting grounded again, seven, 74 for those of you interested, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my God, a spiritual partnership, you're one of, told you. Some of you are destined to have spiritual careers. A 78, 15, 6, unconditional love from the universe. Oh my God. Synchronicity is an 87 card. Again. Jesus. Unconditional love, synchronicities. You have a divine spiritual partnership, may have had to surrender in order to bring you, some of you have had to surrender something that was keeping you lost so you could be found. And now you have found 
love. You have found self-love. You have found new friendships. You're a great communicator. You're on a spiritual path and you're about to be blessed karmic coin here in a big way. This is the universal unconditional love toward Libra. Oh, Jesus. Ten again. Karmic completion. Change, change, change. New beginnings, endings, new beginnings, endings, new beginnings. It's all about change. Here is the 77 card. Spirituality and new beginnings. Following your intuition. Healing. I told you. Communicating. It's time for an adventure. Something that has grounded you. Loving of self. You've been on a time out. You could be parenting. But there is a love partnership entering. Eight. It's karmic. Karmic blessings. This karmic completion that is over, done, you've escaped. <laughs> oh, that's what the numerology has to say. Now, what do the archangels have to say about Libra? What are the most desired messages the universe would like to convey to Libra, Archangels, what do you want to communicate the most to Libra at this time? Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarships, promotions. They're proud of you. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. Well, <laughs> whoa, right there, boom. If you were feeling in lack, lonely, isolated, rejected, that's here. It's like you needn't go through your current challenges alone. You're not alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. Escape from that. The karmic completion is done. It was a karmic lesson, perhaps. Or somebody uh, left you out in the cold to go to a karmic. But five of... Again, change, five, five, fives, fives, change, change. A challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others and have patience with yourself and those around you. Knight of Ariel, trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. Three of Gabriel. That's your ships coming in. The waiting game. Prosperity is arising from the wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. You're being looked out for here. Knight of Raphael. Romantic, dramatic, poetic introspective committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet situations or topics that make your heart flutter seven of ariel you have invested wisely have patience and wait for the harvest review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor Standing your ground. Mm. I have to take one more outcome here. Ten of Raphael. Told you. 
Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members. The happy ever after. And that was the first card that came out in the numerology. It all has a happy ending. Whatever you've gone through, you've gone through this five of Ariel being alone and isolated and injured and going without to having it all. It all will end well. Now that's what the angels have to say. They're validating what the astrology had to say as well as what the numerology was saying. This is no mistake. Now let's see what the tarot has to say. What are the messages that the universe would love the most for Libra to know? affirming it the five of Ariel being left out in the cold feeling in lack feeling uh, isolated feeling alone could be due to someone's selfishness or you're working on fulfilling your wishes you've moved forward You've cut out people, places, and things that are not for your higher good. People who can't make up their mind. People who are indecisive. People who don't know how to choose. You're leaving the baggage behind. It wasn't yours to carry. It's not your burden. High Priestess listening to your intuition i'm telling you there's love here there was a deception in love somebody may have chosen another a third party but oh well who wants to return there to their soulmate oh well you're celebrating a soulmate connection going on yeah shiny toy over there giving to two stressing you out what's going on i told you karmic blessings are coming to you that's a karmic blessing karmic completion if your person was with a karmic it's it's done it's been completed but you're receiving a karmic blessing. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. Karmic blessings. I cannot make this up. It's said in the astrology, the numerology, um, the angel tarot, and now the witch's tarot is telling you you're receiving karmic blessings. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and Karmic Blessings. Whatever. Yes. Someone is an emperor here having a real good look at your loving nature, okay? Someone really having a look. wanting a cycle with you i told you it's a karmic completion and now you might have to choose <laughs> which love you are going to receive are you going to receive somebody brand new or are you going to reconcile that choice is yours looks like they're both here But someone is coming toward you. You're entering calmer waters. I think 
that you're, <laughs> yeah, they're stuck on you. That's what they are. They want to co-create with you. Your guard is up. This is destined. Your destiny is right here. Your ships are coming in. Your wishes are being granted. It's like your prayers are being answered. It's destined. Same. You freed yourself. You escaped. What? Some of you escaped from an empress in reverse. Some of you masculines were dealing with a fake empress. Others of you, your person has freed themselves from a fake empress. There's only one empress and somebody just set themselves free. Finding out they were a fake. Karmic completion, blingo. Now you're going to have to make a choice. Who are you reconciling or only open to receiving of new? The choice is going to be yours. But I can tell you people are finding you very, yeah, because why? It was based on falsehood. It was based on a lie. It was self-sabotage. This is justice for Libra for whatever was unjust. It's like, blingo, see you later, crash, burn. Hmm. Yep. Somebody had to do the shadow, but it all ends well. It has a happy ending. From shadow side to bliss, happiness, just like that. Because you are protected, that's why. You could be an earth angel, you could be a healer, you could be someone divine, someone who is guided, and somebody tried to mess you up, and it's like you, you escaped. You freed yourself. It's in reverse, and it's looking like this person has freed themselves for, from this karmic, this karmic completion. Done. So, someone wants to speak a truth about marriage, about commitment, about moving in together, about living together, whatever. Twin flame, celebrating, solid foundation. Hmm, yeah. As above, so below. That's what she wrote. Comes around, goes around. Hmm. You've got a king of swords, a king of wands, a king of pentacles, and an emperor having a look at you. Well, of course, the emperor embodies all those kings. So the choice is going to be yours. Hmm. Somebody is lonely. Somebody is regretting what they did in the past. Someone cannot stop thinking about the past. Doing the work. Guided. They don't want it to be over. Four of swords in reverse. I don't want it to be over. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I don't want to be a player no more. <laughs> hmm. 
somebody broke your heart. Somebody probably, oh, you're, it all has a happy outcome. Somebody is watching you, observing you. Only you know what you're going to do. Just saying. They're single. King of Cups. Coming back around. Someone with a lot of love. Or this is a new person. Only you're going to know. It's karma completion. It's done. It's over. They're sad. They created your sadness. But they're coming forward. Yeah. They are. Here comes the love offer. I'm going back. There's too much anger. There's too much confusion. There's too much drama. What is this? I don't know. It's like having to defend yourself or whatever. Or now they want to fight for this. Communicate because they things have come to an end. There is mistrust here. There is things that were hidden. There was manipulation, maybe magic. I don't know. Somebody wants a victory with you. It's a new start. and They're coming in. And it's like somebody walked away here from a karmic energy. I know someone knew this is too much new here to, to not look at it and address it it's new it's high honor victory passionate new start communication is coming in it's going to be your decision but someone has chosen to come toward you with a love offer or an apology or whatever it is so now you're really stuck <laughs> not really you're going to have to choose between a past person and a new person. But I can tell you it all has a happy ending. Whatever you're choosing to do. <laughs> and it's verified with like four or five different decks here. Numerology, astrology, the angels, and tarot. So, no mistake. They were dealing with a fake. A fake empress who was a karmic and now it is a karmic completion and you have escaped. You have set yourself free. And maybe this person is setting themselves free and has set themselves free because there's past returning as well as new coming in. <laughs> Isn't that the way Libra? Huh? What is Libra going to do? Only Libra will know what to do. I guess it depends on how they, what they have to say, right? Some of you are just not entertaining anybody from the past. It all has a happy ending because it is destined and there is communication coming in. And you're sitting over here collecting karma coins. That's what you'll be doing. So, it's like you did escape. You ended a karmic cycle or some kind of karmic debt or whatever has been done. It's completed, finished, undone. Done, done, done. Hmm. Libra. Just going to have to accept that you are blessed and you're pretty well favored by the universe right now. Take care, Libra. You deserve it. Take care, guys.